Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of From What I Gather. Well up here in the Pacific Northwest our salmon season is just getting started and I am super excited to be working with this big old slab of fresh Chinook salmon that we just caught yesterday. This is a piece off a 30 pound salmon. It's a really nice one. It's thick. It's probably an inch and a half across this fillet. There's really nice marbling here and I'm just pumped to be working with this. So I'm going to be preparing this in a couple similar, slightly different ways on the grill for you. And uh, I really think you're going to like it. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do for this recipe is whip up a little glaze slash marinade for the salmon. Uh, this is a sort of a teriyaki style. I'm going to begin with a tablespoon of fresh ground ginger. And a little tip for you is I like to keep my fresh ginger in the freezer when it comes time to use it. I just grate it on a little microplane grater here and it works out really nice and easy. I don't even bother to peel it. To this ginger, I'm going to add a quarter cup of oyster flavor sauce. Now this is something that you can find in most grocery stores. I, I want to use it here for the glaze because it's thick. and so uh, It's going to stick to the surface really nice. So to the oyster flavor sauce and the ginger, I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of regular soy sauce. Some fresh ground pepper. Maybe a teaspoon or so. I'm going to go ahead and put in one clove of pressed garlic. You mince it really fine, that's going to work just as well. The press works easy, so I like to use that in this. And I'll add one teaspoon of sesame oil. There you go, and the final ingredient is two tablespoons of sugar. This is raw sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, honey, anything is going to work right here. And since this is raw sugar, I'm going to have to stir this for quite a while. Whatever sugar you use, you want to just stir this until all the gritty, grittiness is gone and it is completely dissolved. I'm going to work on this and then I'll bring out the fish and trim it up. So I'm going to separate this into some different sections. You can see kind of the natural separations of the muscle here on a salmon. They're kind of, there I'll just kind of exaggerate them with a knife a little bit and you can see that these different muscle groups are separated here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut right through those separations for these first two pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the skin off these. Although the skin is good to eat, it's not something I'm going to use on this, on this recipe right here. It's very thick and tough skin. It should be pretty easy for you to get off and not really lose any meat. Very nice. Okay. So these two pieces, I'm going to marinate. I'm going to take my teriyaki marinade, my glaze, and I'm going to brush it all around each of these. Not too heavy. This is a this is a pretty strong marinade. Just want to get a light coating on all this all the way around. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let that marinate for about 20 minutes. Alright, this fish is marinated for a good 20 minutes. I'm going to add a little more black pepper just because I like it. And now, we're going to go ahead and wrap these up in some bacon. It's regular cut bacon. 
use thick cut bacon. The fish is going to usually be overcooked before the bacon gets a nice texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this started. A little weird end on there. That's all right. Wrap it. Slightly, slightly overlap each wrap. Now, right here, you can go ahead and put a toothpick in there if you like. I find that if I put it on the grill and start with that seam side down, usually the bacon constricts and just sticks on there just fine. So I'm going to go without a toothpick, but you do what you like there, and a toothpick will certainly give you a little more security that bacon's going to stay on. There they are. Got my grill heating up outside there. Real nice and hot. It's been preheating for quite a while. I want to get those grills real toasty before I put that on there. For this piece of fish, I want to get the moisture off. As much moisture as I can. So I'll go ahead and pat that with a paper towel. Because moisture is your enemy when you're grilling this fish. That's what gets fish to stick and that's what steers a lot of people away from grilling the fish right on the grills which gives you a lot better flavor than if you put it in foil. Not that that's a bad thing to do. <laughs> All right, so this is just gonna be simple salt and pepper. You know, like to rain the salt on from up high, get a nice even distribution. Salt, pepper, and it's patted dry, so now I'm gonna replace the moisture that I took off there with oil because the enemy of my moisture is my oil and that's gonna also keep it from sticking to the grills all right that's ready to go I'm gonna get the bacon one started first they're gonna take a few more minutes to cook and then I'll bring this one on Ooh. all right we got a real hot grill here it's been preheating for 15 minutes I want those it's nice and hot. Just give them a little of that action there. And then I'll put these seam aside down right on the grill. I'm gonna go two minutes aside on these. And that should crisp up that bacon. We're gonna have to watch out for flare-ups. Two minutes first side. Kick it over. We're gonna do four sides on this. Maybe we're gonna have to use a little ingenuity. It was a little flare up, so I did move them around a bit. All right, two minutes on that side. Okay, I just made it to the third side. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get my other filet started over here. Just get a little oil down on there. Pretty oily on the surface, maybe just a little touch more. All right, I made a nice sizzle. I do like to start my fish flesh side down rather than skin side down. I think most recipes have you put a skin side down first, but that leaves kind of a sticky residue on the grills that I think just makes it stick worse. So it's flesh side down for me. Let's do the final flip here. These are looking good, nice color. Now, what we do is put these in the center. These have been going eight, nine minutes. This has been going four. And hit that skin side with a little more spray. And now fingers crossed, and this should come right off the grill. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Boom, there we go, no sticking. Let me move that to the center here. So what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to go ahead and paint one side of these bacon with the glaze. Just one side because it's very strong. And this one side of the plain filet. Alright, good. Now, I will shut off the center burner of my grill, close the lid, and give this just about a minute to, maybe two, just to get that glaze to set up just a little bit. 